Welcome to State of Tech. I'm going to show you how to use Pro Camera for the iPhone. If we open up the application, it's going to load us here into our camera where we have the viewfinder and we can begin taking photos. Now this application is going to work great because it has a lot of customization here for your camera. Now if we tap on the bottom right hand corner, it's going to bring up a basic settings menu where we have some different options. We can choose to focus exposure lock right here by tapping on that. We have different grids that we can choose from. If we tap through, you'll see the grid change in the actual viewfinder of the camera. And once you've selected the grid that you like, go ahead and leave it there and it's going to load that grid every time. We also have a time meter, a tilt meter right here where we can see the orientation of our device. So if I were to pick up the phone and rotate it around, you see how the orientation is letting me know when I'm level. And if I hold that up, you see that I can be perfectly level and go ahead and take a photo if I wanted to use that tilt meter. I can even lock the white balance by tapping on there. I can enable rapid fire, which will allow me to take multiple photos in a burst succession. I have live data, and you see I have live data up at the top that now shows up. I can change my aspect ratio and take a photo in a different aspect ratio. And I cycle through that just by tapping on aspect ratio. I have settings down here, which gives me a more advanced settings menu. I can enable anti-shake or self-timer. Now if I tap self-timer, it enables self-timer. But if I tap anti-shake, it enables anti-shake. And if I tap on anti-shake again, it goes ahead and enables self-timer. And full screen is going to allow me to use a full screen shutter. So if I enable that, all of my controls hide away. And if I tap anywhere on the screen now, it's going to give me and take a photo. Now if I open up the settings menu, it's going to bring out this settings options where if I tap more, it's going to give me the full options. I can choose to use a light box, which will activate a light box to save photos inside the application itself and not inside my camera roll until I export them. I can turn that on or off if I'd like to. Now I have photo mode options. I can choose to be on the anti-shake. I can be really shaky and take a photo, or I want to select a more stable shake to take a photo. And in the self-timer, I can choose anywhere from half a second to 20 seconds. Now JPEG compression is going to compress our photo once we take it. Now by default, it's usually set to about 80%, but if you want it to be a full resolution, come in here and slide that slider all the way over to 100. Or if it doesn't really bother you and you want to save a little bit of room on your storage, go ahead and slide it over more towards low quality and it's going to go ahead and do that for you. We'll come back into the settings menu and we'll come back out here into the main settings. Now full screen trigger again, it's going to tap anywhere in the viewfinder and take a photo instantly. We can enable that in this menu if we'd like to. We can enable photo zoom. We slide this on, we can zoom with our photos or we can go ahead and disable that. And we can choose a date stamp to date stamp on the bottom of the images. We also have our video mode down here. We can zoom with video, turn that on or off. And then we have some general options such as geotagging, system sounds, and copyright EXIF data. We can turn these off if we'd like to. In the copyright, we can go ahead and tap in in here and add a copyright to the photos that we wanted to. Now support feedback, we can view the blog, we can subscribe to a newsletter. We can love the app in the app store, recommend it, gift it support development, view acknowledgement, and view about. And if we tap less, it's going to hide a bunch of these options here in the settings and give us our basic settings. Tap on the camera in the top left hand corner, bring us back out to our camera. And there's one thing here when taking the photo that I'd like to show you. We'll tap on the screen to go ahead and focus. So if I tap anywhere on the screen, you see it's going to go and focus for me. But now if I take that and I go and slide it, I can slide my focus around and also slide my exposure. And now it's going to focus on wherever I end up with the slider. And it's going to expose the image based upon where the exposure slider is at. Now if I take a photo, I'll just hit the shutter button in the bottom portion of the screen in the middle. And you see it's taking the photo for me. Now if I enable anti-shake, it's going to take a photo when the shake is not happening. And if I hit the arrow buttons next to the shutter, I can go from a video to a photo or to a night mode if I wanted to. And up in the top left hand corner, I can enable flash. And up in the top right hand corner, I can go and flip to my front facing camera. Now if I tap in the camera roll in the bottom left hand corner, it's going to bring me out to my camera roll where I can view all the images that I have on my device and go ahead and edit them. I can even tap and select multiple images and come back out to the albums and view all the albums. Now let's go ahead and select a photo. I'll select this one of the lightning cable. I can choose to go ahead and share this by itself. If we tap share, we can open it in Instagram or Dropbox or copy it and open it up in messages, mail, Facebook, Flickr, or Twitter, or even airdrop it. 
Now I'm going to tap edit, brings me into my edit mode, where I can begin editing this photo with all of the built-in options. I can swipe through and view all of these different filters right now that I'm in an optimized menu, where I'm viewing all, and I can go ahead and keep going through, and view a bunch of different filters that will be on my device. Once I find one that I like, if I hit the slider up in the top menu, I can view the original, and now view what it's going to look like filtered. I can also cycle through filters in the bottom, so I can go over to Optimize. Tap on Optimize is just going to give me all my optimized filters. Color, just the color, black and white, San Fran, Cross, Street, and Cinemax. Now you see some of them are actually an in-app purchase, so if you wanted to use those ones, you can preview them here on the app, but if you needed to, wanted to save your photo with that filter, you'd actually have to purchase the in-app purchase. So let's go ahead and select one. I'm just going to go to optimize and I feel like let's go ahead and see this boost. We'll view the original and now view boost. And I think that looks pretty good. So now we'll move on to our actual settings where we can do brightness, contrast, exposure, saturation, color temperature, vignette, boost, and sharpen. Now I'm going to tap sharpen and the way this works is I'm going to swipe on the screen over to the right on the actual image itself. Swipe up or down and it's going to sharpen my photo or unsharpen it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and use that see the before and after and now I'll go ahead and go with the boost swipe up or down and now we can see how this is working on the screen now I can crop if I like to crop it I'll go ahead and do the aspect ratio I can rotate it you see I have a slider now where I can rotate the image go back I can choose my aspect ratio and choose a different crop method here and then I can even flip the photo vertically or horizontally now once I'm done if I go ahead and tap save it's going to save that photo. You see, I get a countdown at the top, and now it's saved to my camera roll. And if I come out to the camera roll, you see my most recent photo is the one that we just edited. And this is how you're going to use Pro Camera on the iPhone.